Welcome back to TV Savalis. Thank you guys for tuning in. Do me a favor before we get started. Hit the thumbs up button. Thanks. That's going to help push this video and tell YouTube to, hey, somebody else watch this video as well. Look, also, if you haven't already, become a subscriber. We got over 5,000 subscribers. Thanks. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Also, um, welcome to the family. Now, this thing is uh, today's subject. We're talking about wholesaling real estate. What's wholesaling real estate and how did I get into it, right? Chasing my first deal. If you haven't seen my video, uh, please take a look at my playlist at on, on my channel and go down to Savalas Realty LLC. That will be down there. You can find it. It's near the bottom. So, chasing my first deal. I'm still chasing my first deal. Right, still haven't got a deal yet, um, but I just want to talk about like what is wholesaling, right? And how did I get involved, or why I chose to do wholesaling? Uh, many of you guys out there uh, may be thinking, how can I get money uh, to buy investment properties, or how can I get money in real estate, right? In general, so um, let's just talk about first of all what is wholesaling. Wholesaling, from what I've learned is not about real estate wholesaling is more so about marketing now with that said let me tell you a little bit about me and my background if you don't know who i am uh like i said my name is savalas williams this is tv savalas thanks for subscribing once again anyway i'm a current student at uh jma online academy that's jay morrison academy I'm also a current student at Menlo College, um, going for a bachelor's degree in business management with an emphasis in real estate. I have an associate's degree in real estate. I have a certification in real estate. I have a certification in commercial real estate through a program called BOMA, which is more so geared towards property management, right? That's just my educational stuff. Who cares? Not bragging, not boasting. Just showing you guys that I am uh, focused in on real estate and understanding and learning the industry right from a professional standpoint not just a hustle and grind standpoint um i've also owned a couple properties in my time and i've done a couple things in the real estate world that brings me to wholesaling um wholesaling is like i said it's not real estate it's marketing um so what happens is what's supposed to happen i've never done a deal yet but what is supposed to happen is this you're supposed to find motivated sellers who want to sell their property like yesterday and have them sign a contract that says that um, you can buy the property for, from them for X amount of dollars, right? Let's just say $100,000. And then, my battery's dying, people. I'm just going to, got about 15% left. And then you get another contract. It could look the same as the other one. And you go find a, a cash buyer meaning someone who's going to actually uh, buy the property from you, right, or the rights of the property from you, um, and they're going to actually do the maintenance, fix it up, and all the other stuff. And supposedly what's actually happened is they're buying the rights to buy the property. Um, you buy the rights to buy the property from the seller, and then you sell those rights to another buyer or real estate investor, right? And if you do your math right, so in our little example, I said you buy it for a hundred thousand from uh, the seller, and then you find a buyer, and let's say you uh, the buyer you agree to sell um, that contract to the buyer for a hundred and ten thousand, which means you make ten thousand dollars off of that deal, right? And that's simply what wholesaling is supposed to be, or what it is, right? And um, a lot of people here in America have made a lot of money doing wholesaling. You can find a thousand videos on YouTube of people, no matter what color, no matter what creed, no matter what background, everybody from educated people to people off the streets have all been successful in doing wholesaling. And you might be thinking, well, I watch, I'm, I clicked this video because you know I'm interested in wholesaling. I wanna know more about it. That's basically wholesaling, right? Um, <laughs> but what I've learned actively doing wholesaling for the past 
two months or so, right? A little bit over that. My journey in wholesaling actually dates back to like 2016. But I was trying to do it, but then I wasn't too sure what was happening. That's when I was still in Virginia. And then I stopped because I didn't really understand. I called some people. One guy wanted $7,200 for him to coach me in real estate. I was like, if I had $7,200, I would already have another property, right? <laughs> that was after I had sold um, my second, my first property. And I was looking to, you know, make some money um, doing real estate wholesaling. Um, but back then, I didn't really understand that it was marketing. It's not about, because you never really own the property you just have this contract with the rights to buy the property and it's just an exchange of paperwork for you as a wholesaler and you become the middleman um, in the transaction basically right so that's wholesaling now the question is um, why did I get involved in wholesaling or why I did or why are you interested in wholesaling so let me form that question um, why are you um, interested in wholesaling Leave your comments below your reasons and why. Leave that below. Um, it ain't got to be necessarily wholesaling, real estate investing in general. Why are you interested in it, right? What's your why reason? So, for me, uh, I'm not looking at a board, guys. I'm just wandering off. I'm actually looking at my TV. Um, but anyway, <laughs> for me, getting into wholesaling was more so about creating capital to be able to buy investment properties. That's my goal as far as wholesaling. I went, if I knew a way that I could get 10, 15, $20,000 at a time doing something else without much um, labor work, then I would definitely do something else besides wholesaling, right? Because I already have rental property. I'm just trying to create capital to get more rental property and I got some other things in the pipeline um, uh, in real estate that I'm working on right rebuilding my credit uh, looking at different avenues in order to um, get that get other capital but hey if I can get a deal two three four five six deals doing wholesaling why not you know what I'm saying um, and that's my why reason right so I am doing wholesaling actively because it's my dog I think my uh, brother in law has a neighbors actively because I want to raise capital right without having to go to a bank and borrow the money or uh, a private lender uh, because private lenders and hard money lenders they still want some money down right they still want X amount of dollars and because of now this pandemic they also um, a lot of them are requiring you to have a uh, Requirements are changing. Let's just say it that way, right? Um, you may need to put 15% uh, down and you may have to have a 670 credit score. I'm just throwing that number out there. I don't know that to be true. You got to check your local areas. But anyway, that's wholesaling and that's why I'm interested in it. Now, also, I want to let you guys know, if you're interested in buying stocks, I have my uh, reference link to Robinhood, which is a, a brokerage, and you can actually um, use my reference link. You'll get a free stock, and I'll get a free stock. It absolutely costs you no money. All you have to do is sign up, create an account, wait a couple days, and boom, boom, you'll get a free stock. Boom, boom, I'll get a free stock. I don't necessarily get paid um, from Robinhood at all, so I'm not a spot. I'm not sponsored by them, but I did leave my referral link in the description underneath so I want you guys to know that back to wholesaling uh, so there's many different strategies in marketing right as a wholesaler you can do banded signs I had this wrote down somewhere too um, I think it's in my phone uh, you can do cold calling you could do uh, you can you can do um, uh, door hangers, which like flyers for doors, right? You can do what's called driving for dollars is really popular. You could do um, text messaging. You could do all these different things in order to uh, hopefully find sellers or leads so they can call you, get them on the phone and set up 
appointments to be able to go out to get deals. These are all the different strategies. As of right now, the two things that I've been doing is bandit signs and also I just started doing um, text messaging. Understand this, <laughs> that marketing for anything costs money, right? I'm a big No Limit fan. I'm probably one of the few people out there who still love uh, Master P and the No Limit Soldiers, right? But if you watch any of his interviews, you know, and you're a fan, you or maybe you don't know, so I'll just tell you. Master P spent $25,000 to sit down and talk to a Michael Jackson lawyer about how can he get a good deal in the record business, right? After he got the information from Michael Jackson lawyer, it's like the early 90s, right? Michael Jackson lawyer told P, you're going to need um, an additional $200,000 for your own marketing if you take this distribution deal with any um, record company, a major record company. You're going to need $200,000 for your own marketing. And P was like, I just gave you $25,000. So you can tell me that I need another $200,000 for marketing. It takes money to make money and those of us who follow music understands well hip-hop especially older hip-hop understand that you like the music or not the blueprint in the hip-hop industry as far as being independent and making a lot of money you can uh go ahead and give that to master p anyway i'm saying all that about p and understanding uh, uh marketing and promoting real estate wholesaling it's the same thing like some people um they may have um i'm not gonna say got lucky but they may have been fortunate enough to buy one batch of bandit signs for 84 dollars a hundred of them um and get a deal and make you know let's just say they make fifteen hundred dollars off of that one deal right that first deal they make fifteen hundred dollars and that's nothing to brag about but um i mean if it took 84 cents to make 1500 so I salute you. You feel me? Like, I've never been a hater. I'm always trying to congratulate people and understand how can I do what they did. You feel me? So, um, I think about it like this. If I went to the casino and I had 84 cents and I put 84 cents in the machine, you know what I mean? And boom, it hit. For 1500 I'm gone. I'm out. I'll leave the casino. Now, some of y'all, y'all gonna spend the whole 1500 and lose it. But those people who are a little bit more savvy, you know, they're going to use that money and they're going to market more, right? So that's the uh, one thing about wholesaling real estate. If you don't get the amount of money that you're looking for after the deal, you just take that money, a percentage of it, you market more, you spread out more, you, you can bring in more leads, right? But if you only starting out with a couple dollars, it's going to be hard, man. I, I'm finding that it's hard. You know, if, if you like me and you only got a couple hundred dollars extra to spend on in this game, right? It's, it's hard. So, um, it's a lot of other uh, different things. Now, what I was going to say about all those different uh, ways to bring in leads, like banding signs, cold calling, text messaging, um, uh, uh, pass, even passing out your business card to people uh, and, and all them kind of things, all those things. They take money, right? But then you have to spend more money driving for dollars. Like, and you just don't, some people make it seem like they randomly drive for dollars. And no, you're not randomly driving for dollars, guys. What you're doing is you go on your software system to where you target potential sellers and you go in those areas or you go to that address or that corner or that block and you start looking around from from that location is not random trust me um if you're strategic about it right you can definitely find random deals your regular driving on your regular day of course you know what i mean but if you're actively doing it and you don't want to waste uh your time you know you want to be more strategic about things anyway so that costs money <laughs> You need a software. Um, I know two software programs. Number one is called PropStream. The other program is called um, REI Pro. REI Pro. Um, 
one of those is highly promoted by um what is it uh max maxwell salute to max maxwell and the other one's highly promoted by um ty the flip man salute to ty the flip man those are a couple people who i follow in the real estate game some people you guys may have heard of as well um now you need money for that right and that's a monthly um thing you have to pay for so i think it's like 97 bucks it could be up from from 97 bucks a month to 150 bucks a month it's up to you right so you got to understand that that costs money right then um a couple things that you're going to need you know in wholesaling you're going to need a mentor right so i got a real estate mentor um it's kind of like family basically not blood but family nonetheless you need a mentor you're going to need um more education so um educate yourself you don't have to go to a university or to a school necessarily to educate yourself you come right here to the university of youtube that's where it starts education educating yourself is where it starts um another thing that you need you're going to need um time and space right so right now i got a 45 minutes to an hour because my wife put the kids to sleep i got a little space because they're in the bedroom my nephew's in the room chilling. Um, my brother-in-law took my dog out for no. My brother-in-law went somewhere, so I got time and space right now. So I need to take, I need to use that to, you know, be able to focus. Uh, I created a video, or I could have been doing some marketing for real estate, but I chose to do a video. Anyway, you need time and space. That's the point, right? You need um, you need support, you know, from some people around you or whoever's close to you. So. My wife, she supports me in my um, endeavors in real estate. She she says, go, baby, you can do it. You know what I mean? Don't stop. Keep going. Um, you can make this real estate thing, you know, a reality um, as far as wholesaling. So you need that. Um, and you're going to need some more money. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Wholesaling real estate is all about marketing. Um, oh, buyers, you need to market to buyers as well, right? So not only do you market to sellers, once you um, find a house and get it under contract, you need to go find a buyer, right? <laughs> and you have to go search. So a lot of the same things that you use to find a buyer will help you find um, uh, that you find the some of the things that you use to find the seller you use some of those same strategies to find a buyer right um you can actually probably just pop up on your mentor and ask them do they have any leads in a pipeline um you could go on um my phone's down to five percent guys uh you could go um to those different other um uh, uh software systems like i said in order to find um cash buyers in the local area and so but just know, like, all these things cost money, man. And you need to save your money and be able to use it wisely, um, even for wholesaling and marketing. And I wish you guys much success. Um, please, once again, hit the like button. Subscribe. I try to be as transparent as possible when I'm making these videos. And remember, every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, 5 a.m. West Coast Time, we release videos every Saturday and Sunday. This is your boy Savalas Williams telling y'all one love.